God damn it. I'm not repeating myself. Get out of the roadway and pull over. And then you still drove by me. Sir, License and know. registration now. Okay. You almost ran over an officer standing in the middle of the street. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize what was going on. That was very confusing. It's a bright yellow jacket standing in the middle of the street. What don't you understand? Well, the other cars were going no, they weren't. You were the only vehicle coming from that way. You almost ran me over in the middle of the street. I'm, I'm, I'm you didn't even sir. attempt to stop your car. Sir. You're lucky you're not in handcuffs right this second. I'm very sorry, sir. I really Explain to my kids why why they don't have a dad sir. a week before Christmas because you're sir. trying to run somebody over. Sir, I promise you. You see the bright lights flashing in the middle of the street? That means you just caution there's a cop out there. I got kids at home and you almost ran me over okay. a week before Christmas. Sir, when I see flashing yellow light. It's not flashing, it's red and blue. It was That's a cop car standing in the middle of the street flashing lights. You need to calm yourself. And welcome back to the Civil Rights Lawyer channel. This footage comes to us from Waterbury, Connecticut. It happened on December 13th, 2022. And it shows Waterbury Police Department Officer James Hinkle. Well, former officer. On Monday of this week, this guy was fired for what you're about to see in this video. Take a look and then we'll discuss. Basically what's happening here is that this officer is engaging in some traffic control and this woman comes from the other direction and either doesn't see him or misunderstands whether or not she's supposed to drive through and he absolutely flips out. Alpha 3, give me a now. Did you not see this bright yellow vest standing in the middle of the street? No, I did. I thought you were leaving. No, this means line. stop. I, this means stop. I didn't see that until I was already passing. And then you still I, drove by me. I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't License and that. registration now. No, license and registration okay, now. Okay, 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 okay. You almost ran over an officer standing in the sorry. middle of the street. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize what was going on. That was very confusing. It's a bright yellow jacket standing in the middle of the street. What don't you understand? All the other cars were going. No, they weren't. You were the only vehicle coming from that way. You almost ran me over in the middle of the street.
I'll get your car and stand next to the fender. Sure. Leave your purse in the car. Where do you work? I work for a clothing company in California. What are you doing here today? I'm going to Target. You're going to Target? Yeah, just do a pickup. What is such an important factor that me standing in the middle of the street Sir, stopping swear. you and you try to run me over? Sir, I swear. And then you looked at me, you waved to, at me, and I, then you kept going anyway. I, I swear I was not trying to run you over. I thought you were... The cars were going. I'm telling you to stop in the middle of the street and hand. you wave at me I, and keep going. I I saw your hand before and I, it was too late to stop. And no, it wasn't. You were doing 10 I'm miles sorry. an hour and you still drove by me. I'm sorry. You didn't even sir. attempt to stop your car. Sir. You're lucky you're not in handcuffs right this second. I'm very sorry, sir. I really Explain to my sorry. kids why, why they don't have a dad sir. a week before Christmas because you're sir. trying to run somebody over. Sir, I promise you. You see the bright lights flashing in the middle of the street? That means you just caution there's a cop out there. I got kids at home and you almost ran me over okay. a week before Christmas. Sir, when I see a flashing yellow light. It's not flashing, it's red and blue. It was That's a cop car standing in the middle of the street flashing lights. Okay, a couple things jump out at me here. First of all, he was directing traffic and now he's not directing traffic. So, did the traffic need to be directed or not? Are there, like, cars flying off a cliff back down the road where he was? Secondly, what is happening here in regards to this woman? Is this a traffic stop? If so, what is the reasonable suspicion? Does he realize now that she misunderstood? And if so, is there still reasonable suspicion to continue to detain this woman? Because he doesn't appear to be writing her a ticket. He doesn't appear to be checking her license and registration. He is just yelling at her. And you know what? The standard for Fourth Amendment violations in the context of traffic stop is reasonableness. Even though there, there's an initial justification um, that's pretty easy for police officers to make, that has to continue. And here, this looks really unreasonable. Accident, you're just being irresponsible. <sighs> Street and then waves at me and still tries to drive by me. Run her, please, and make sure she's valid. What is it? Eight? I can't believe you. A week before Christmas, I almost get ran over. All right? Yeah. I got two kids at home waiting for me to come home tonight. Sir, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry doesn't break it. You looked right at me and still decided to drive by me. No, you weren't! I was in the middle of the intersection! Yes, sir. Emotionally. You got a summons book? Would you mind filling this out for me? My hands are a little shaky right yeah. now. Yeah. Failing to obey a signal of the officer. Reckless driving. See, this is why I was trying to direct traffic because it's. Yeah. 
coming out here or what? Yeah, they've been out. They had to pick up a part. They're going back to get the, a new part to fix the light. I was out here for 25, 30 minutes. I heard traffic. you. Could you get so? Yeah. 30 minutes doing traffic and almost got ran over once. Everybody else, no problem. No problem. Anytime you see flashing red and blue lights in the middle of the street, it means there's cops present. What should I say? No, stop talking. Stop talking. And it means you need to pay attention because there's going to be police officers out and about, okay? This bright yellow vest, it's very, very bright. It's neon yellow because it stands out, okay? I'm standing in the middle of the street telling you to stop. That means stop. I'm not waving hi, Merry Christmas. This means stop. Listen, this means stop, okay? When you see me do this and try to get your attention and stop you again, it doesn't mean wave back to me and keep driving by me. It doesn't mean that. I'm not waving Merry Christmas. Keep I driving. Didn't stop. See all stop. Of this. I'm sorry. Then what were you doing in your I vehicle? I was paying attention to the cars in front of me. There were no cars in front of you. There were zero cars in front of you. You were the only vehicle traveling on that road for 500 feet. There were no vehicles in front of you. Okay. No, there okay. wasn't. Okay. Okay. She almost runs me over. We you need to calm yourself. So fortunately, the other police officer steps into the situation and tells this officer Hinkle that he needs to get control of himself. The story does have a good ending. This police officer was fired on Monday, January 9th. Again, this is the Waterbury Police Department, and this is the statement that was provided. Quote, his conduct during this encounter with a citizen of the community is unacceptable and not representative of the men and women serving the Waterbury Police Department. Waterbury Chief Fernando Spagnolo said in a statement, WPD officers are trained to demonstrate the highest level of professionalism when performing their duties. Good for them that they fired the guy. Is this the only time that he's ever just flown off the handle like this? It would be interesting if somebody would FOIA the past body cam videos of this guy and see what sort of gold nuggets there may be in there. And if you do that, please send them my way. As always, thanks for watching. Remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it. I'll see you next time.